Delano, first off, what's your, your thoughts on the game tonight? Uh, obviously, close first half, another third quarter kind of catches you guys. Oh, man, just another night where we got to be able to piece it together for 48 minutes. Um, like I said before, I was talking to you, man, like winning could look different every night, man. Whoever could have a good night. Um, two had it going early. Um, a lot of guys playing good offensively. Um, you know, coming into that third quarter, turning the ball over, not doing what got us there in the first half, I feel like. You know, it goes a long way, man. Once they go on that run, now you got to fight back. You know, it's a hard league. Those guys are coming off momentum off a big win their last game. So, you know, they're, they're, they're into the game. They're playing. They're playing hard. They know that they, ha they always have a chance, man, after coming off a game like that. So, you know, we just got to find ways to put together for 48 minutes. We always have that little stretch, six, seven minutes, and then, you know, we try and claw back and we pick it back up. So, as long as we get out of that, I think we'll be all right. Uh, what would you attribute your ability to, to get to the rim to? Because it seems like you're a guy that, like, once you get to that right hand, like, you can kind of get to the rim and your ability to finish there is has been impressive um just trying to play downhill play to my strengths um you know guys definitely just you know encouraging me to be aggressive getting downhill um making space for me definitely making me play in the funnel making me play take the lanes that are there i'm not trying to force anything and then you know coach chauncey coach staff putting me in positions to be aggressive play to my strengths I feel like definitely goes a long way for me and you know definitely when defense collapse trying to make the right play all the time and you know he always preaches rim decisions and i think that's a big thing for us going forward to help us with our turnovers is making the right play at the rim uh, rim decisions. Can you can you explain that a little bit? Um, just come if the de defense is collapsing, if they're late rotating, if they're late on the rotate, maybe you might have a layup. But if they're collapsing, man, we got to kick it out. We got to get get the chase. We got to get them playing two on one. So you know, whenever we get to the paint, we put up a shot. Three people, <laughs> three people guarding us. You know, it's never gonna go well. And you know, we treat those shots as turnovers as well because they get to come out, run down, with an unexpected shot. You know, and now we're playing transition defense off a off a shot. You know, so it kind of counts as a turnover to us too. So kind of just man, piecing it together for 48 minutes with the things we know. Uh, you know, we always do it for a good stretch of time. It's just you know, young team. We just got to be able to you know come together, come together, and you know stick together and do it. Uh, any uh, any familiarity uh, playing with these or playing against these Eastern Conference teams? Uh, obviously, you spent your first three years uh, in, in the East. Um, anything you feel like you're, you're more, maybe not prepared for these games, but just maybe kind of know better the guys you're going up against? Um, I wouldn't even say so. I just yeah. feel like just going through the games, um, being it's my third year in the league, kind of just knowing guys around the league. Um, I feel like even just for young guys, just you know, as you face the guys a couple of times, you know, you come across the same faces, same guys. Everyone in the league knows each other, so you know, you find guys' tendencies whether you watch film on them or not. You kind of just pick up on them so I feel like I'm um, just playing against these games you know tough team with Atlanta uh, great crowd out there man they, they're rooting for them so you know hopefully we could come out next time with a win just piece it together for 48. Uh, there were a couple uh, since the Celtics are playing here in between games there were a couple Boston media guys here and they turned to me midway through the game they're like has Delano been doing this the entire time he's like in, in Boston he just never really got the chance do you feel like it, in Portland it's, it's maybe just an opportunity to to show what you can do yeah definitely man just um you know, opportunity, you know, meeting preparation, I feel like goes a long way. Um, just being able to, you know, seize the opportunity. Um, but man, I felt like I fell into a great spot as well. Um, you know, Boston put me in a great position to learn a lot of things, um, help develop me as well. Got great development there. Um, and then, you know, come here and then get put into a position where, you know, guys are hurt early. Um, and you're just trying to be aggressive, man, knowing that, you know, how the league works, knowing guys get traded, you can't hang your hat on it. You know, you come into a new, this, that week I was the new guy, but somebody was new before me just the week before, so you got to look at it that way. And just go and just, you know, stick to your work, stick to what you do. And, you know, I'm grateful for the coaching staff that I have that helps me and, you know, treats me and, you know, continues to, you know, push me to be aggressive.